Alrighty, let's watch this in full first. <laughs> Actually, I like that. The last little thing. Doesn't quite make a huge amount of sense in terms of the second push. I think it could be cute for this. Although, I don't know if the chair allows you to put the back, like rotate the back. But I would probably lessen this by maybe half. But it's, it's kind of a fun thing. I like it. And you would have a little bit of a wobble in the in the legs too. Now, I think this has an issue where, even though it says spline, I still see a lot of hiccup B moments that are unfortunately kind of a remnant of the stepped approach. So you can see this here if you look at. I would look at the root and the upper body area and not worry too much about the rest just yet because the root is going to change everything else so if you look at how we are translating if you just look at left uh, right to left you can see how here suddenly the spacing gets a lot smaller which is fine you can come in and slow down a bit to take that step but then from here to here that's quite the big move and I feel like you have too many keys in there. I suspect that in your graph editor you have a couple keys and then suddenly this happens. Or over one frame, you set another key and the translate suddenly goes way over. And here's the opposite where we're staying. So it goes and then suddenly we're flattening almost where we have too many keys like this. Key here, key here, key here. So that step over at that point that route would be already further to the left but here we see another really strong key to the left and then it really pops into a stop where we still have that pivot over the leg which i mentioned before where i will continue that translate forward so and this continues throughout so you just have a lot of hiccupy things where it stops and goes and stops and goes it gets better towards the end with that rotation from here up which i really like and then the same thing in the legs, you can see this here, when this leg goes up and it suddenly stops, goes straight up instead of to the left. So what I would do for your next pass is, is a clean up. Because I do like, if I, if I kind of squint my eyes and kind of ignore the pops, step, step, hold down with the extra little thing at the end, actually I like it, I think it, it will work. So in your graph editor, again, you're going to have, you have a lot of stuff like that happening, a lot of single keys. And I would, you might even go crazy and set a key here on the root. And maybe set a key here, delete everything in between. And then you can set a key on moments like this and kind of tweak the tangent. So that'd be a little bit of step, slow down, step, slow down. but but you will have a cleaner version where you will have more peaks and valleys because there's a key, there's a key, it's mostly through tangents versus key, 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 and a lot of pops because of this. You just have to clean up the curves to reduce um, the amount of uh, translates. Let me know if that makes sense. Uh, and if not, I can, I can look at your Maya scene, but I suspect that you have just too many keys where they pop over one frame and you know, if you have something like this and they continue somewhere else, delete this key and you will have a nicer curve like that. Because that will give us better a better view of the final timing. Again, I feel like it's going to be okay, but clean up and making sure those stop and goes, um, you know, in terms of timing wise, that needs to be addressed. And I will also reframe the camera. So we're just down here. We don't need that all that extra space. We can take the mask off as well. So we're basically just looking, you know, can I zoom in? I can. If I make all of this bigger, that makes no sense. Something like that. Hold on. I'm trying to grab the, <laughs> the edge of my screen. Oh my thing. There you go. Like that could be your framing. And that way we can see a bit more of the detail in the fingers. How are you going to have these? go around because I feel like that not in the section but it's definitely sliding around here you want that grip to be firm 
I think that's going to be all detail stuff that I wouldn't worry too much about. Like, I wouldn't bring up the toe just yet. Too floppy and it's a bit exaggerated. But your feet are sliding here. So they need to be locked. That's better here. I like that there's a pivot on the heel. I think that's great. So to me, it's mostly cleanup, which will tell us a bit more about the timing. Just final, final timing for that. And then once you have that, I feel like we have to adjust this here. Where instead of when you go down, to me, I feel like the head would be lower. And then as you go forward, the head will go up. Instead of now, you do the opposite. You go down with the head. So kind of the drag overlap would have to be worked on a little bit. All right. I'll leave it at that. So let me know if that makes sense about the translate. And that's going to be this way, but also side to side. You have to make sure that when you have a passing pose here, that we're actually leaning to the side. So the character from the backside wouldn't be straight with a bent leg. It would be over here, hip like this, uh, bent leg. Then you could have your shoulder. I'm exaggerating like that. But you're going to have a side to side sway with the body and a change in the hips. So make sure you don't just animate to this camera, but you also look from the back or front, whatever, to adjust that. Alrighty, thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.